Imagine, it is 1977, humanity decides to reach for the stars, not just any stars but the giant gaseous worlds in our own backyard. This was the dream of Voyager 1, a daring mission, launched on September 5th it followed its twin Voyager 2, their goal, to explore Jupiter and Saturn, and then, to venture where no human-made object had gone before. The timing was perfect, a rare alignment of planets. This grand tour opportunity happens once every 175 years, it allowed Voyager 1 to use gravity assists, like a cosmic slingshot, hopping from one planet to the next. This saved fuel and time. Voyager 1 was more than just a spacecraft, it was a vessel of our curiosity, packed with instruments, cameras, sensors, ready to unlock secrets hidden for eons. What mysteries did Jupiter hold? What about Saturn's rings? These questions fueled the mission. Humanity was on the verge of great discoveries. So, Voyager 1 began its lonely trek, a tiny speck against the vastness of space. Our cosmic adventure had truly begun. First stop Jupiter, the king of planets, Voyager 1 arrived in March 1979, and what it saw, astonishing. Jupiter was a swirling canvas of storms, the great red spot a tempest larger than Earth but that was not all. Voyager 1 gave us our first detailed look, it rewrote our understanding of this gas giant. The probe discovered faint rings around Jupiter, unexpected, unseen from Earth before, then it turned its gaze to Jupiter's moons, Io. A world of fire and brimstone, hundreds of active volcanoes erupting, constantly. Europa, covered in ice, with hints of a subsurface ocean. Could there be life? The question still hangs in the air. Voyager 1 painted a dynamic vibrant system, far from the static worlds we once imagined. Next Saturn, the jewel of the solar system. Voyager 1 swept past in November 1980, its rings even more spectacular up close. Not just a few solid bands, but thousands of intricate ringlets, shepherd moons, tiny guardians shaping the rings. The complexity was breathtaking. Titan, Saturn's largest moon also beckoned. Voyager 1 peered through its thick hazy atmosphere. It found a world rich in nitrogen, with liquid methane, a prebiotic Earth perhaps, frozen in time. These encounters were brief, yet they provided decades of data. Voyager 1 was our robotic pioneer. After Saturn, Voyager 1's planetary mission was complete, but its journey? Far from over. Saturn's gravity flung it upwards, out of the ecliptic plane. It was now on a path to interstellar space, the space between stars, a bold trajectory, a leap into cosmic darkness. No spacecraft had ever dared such a voyage. For years, Voyager 1 traveled, through the outer reaches of our solar system. In 2004, it crossed the termination shock. This is where the sun's solar wind slows down dramatically. It hit a boundary the edge of the sun's influence. Then, it entered a turbulent region, the heliosheath, a sort of cosmic bubble formed by our sun. Voyager 1 was sending back data about this strange new place. Then, the historic moment. August 25, 2012. Voyager 1 officially entered interstellar space. It had punched through the heliopause, the outermost boundary of the sun's magnetic field and solar wind, a human-made object among the stars. It was now swimming in the cosmic ocean, measuring the environment between star systems, data no one had ever collected before. This was a monumental achievement. Voyager 1 was now truly an interstellar messenger, it had left its home, our solar system. Whispers across billions of miles the communication challenge. Voyager 1 is now incredibly far away. As of today, May 28, 2025, it's over 16 billion miles from Earth. Light itself takes more than 22 hours to travel that distance one way, so, a command sent from Earth takes a day to arrive, and the response? Another day to come back. Imagine trying to have a conversation like that, the signals from Voyager 1 are incredibly faint. Its transmitter has the power of a refrigerator light bulb, about 23 watts, spread across that immense distance. By the time the signal reaches Earth it's a whisper. Detecting it requires massive antennas, the deep space network. Giant dishes spread across the globe, listening straining to hear those faint murmurs from the void. Power is another huge challenge. Voyager 1 doesn't use solar panels, the sun is too far. Instead it uses radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs. These devices convert heat from decaying plutonium into electricity, but this power source is slowly fading. Year by year the available energy dwindles. Engineers must carefully decide which instruments to keep running a delicate balancing act yet they still function they still gather and transmit precious data. Glitches and genius keeping the dream alive. Even old reliable explorers face problems. Voyager 1 is no exception. 
In late 2023, a serious issue arose. The spacecraft started sending back garbled data. The flight data system wasn't communicating properly. Without it, we couldn't understand Voyager 1. For months, NASA engineers were puzzled. They sent commands and analyzed responses. It was like interstellar detective work. They suspected a problem with the FDS memory, a single corrupted chip perhaps. Each test took time. Finally, a breakthrough. Engineers confirmed a small portion of FDS memory was corrupted. They decided to relocate the affected code. In April 2024, they sent the fix. And it worked. Voyager 1 began sending coherent data again. As of May 2025, all four science instruments are operational. Voyager 1 flies on. The human spark, our cosmic handshake. Voyager 1 is more than just wires and circuits. It is an extension of humanity itself. Our curiosity, our innate desire to explore, to push boundaries, to see what lies beyond the next hill or the next star. This spacecraft embodies that fundamental human spirit. It carries a piece of us into the vast cosmic ocean, a silent ambassador, a pioneer. Proof that even a small species on a small planet can dream big and achieve even bigger things. Attached to Voyager 1 is the golden record, a phonograph record, made of gold-plated copper. It's a message in a bottle, tossed into the cosmic sea. It contains sounds and images of Earth, music from different cultures, greetings in many languages, pictures of life, of humanity, of our world, a snapshot of who we are, sent out to a universe unknown. Will anyone ever find it? Perhaps, perhaps not. But the act of sending it speaks volumes about us. Think of the people behind Voyager. Generations of scientists, engineers, technicians, they designed it, built it, launched it, guided it. Voyager 1 and its twin Voyager 2 represent something profound, our ability to reach beyond ourselves. Voyager's echo, a future woven with stars. What is Voyager 1's legacy? It's still being written. Even now, in 2025, it continues its journey, plunging deeper into interstellar space, still sending back data teaching us about the environment outside our solar bubble, about galactic cosmic rays and the interstellar magnetic field. Every piece of information is precious, expanding our knowledge of the galaxy we inhabit, a galaxy of hundreds of billions of stars. We are part of it. Voyager 1 has changed our view of the solar system and our place within it. It showed us active dynamic worlds, not just points of light. It revealed the true diversity of planets and moons. It inspired a new generation of scientists and explorers, Future missions to the outer planets stand on Voyager's shoulders. Its discoveries paved the way. Its courage showed it was possible. It transformed science fiction dreams into scientific reality. That is a powerful legacy. The spacecraft is also a symbol, a symbol of peace, of international cooperation through the DSN, a symbol of humanity's highest aspirations. In a world often divided, Voyager represents a united human endeavor, to explore, to understand, to reach for something greater. It carries no weapons, only instruments of discovery, and of course that golden record, our greeting to the cosmos, a message of hope, a testament to our better angels. Voyager 1 sails on, 